My name is Lorraine, and I've been a part of BOSD um, five years. I serve in two ministries. I serve in Kids Gang, in the Adventure Room, our special needs room, and I serve in the Usher Ministry. My husband, um, my husband had a, a problem, a drug problem, and um, um, I called my dad, who's the director of the men's home, and um, my husband went into the men's home, and um, he got transformed within two weeks. It literally took him two weeks for God to touch him and to restore him. And when he was there, I thought, oh, only he needs the saving. It's, I don't, I'm, I'm perfect. <laughs> um, but um, I began to go to church to back up my husband. And when I was there, God did something in me. And he really healed my heart, touched my heart. And um, I've been there ever since. Okay, so I have uh, seven children. My oldest is Joseph, and he's 19. I have um, Ezekiel, he is 12. I have Chloe, she's 11. I have um, Gabriella, she is nine. And then I have um, Frankie, he's six. And then I have um, Isaac, he is three. And then I have Ezra, he is uh, one year. While I was in the process of adopting Ezekiel and Gabriella, Frankie was diagnosed with um, autism and developmental delay. It was a really difficult time in my life because um, everything was in chaos. Everything was, you know, it wasn't perfect the way I thought it was gonna be. You know, someone telling you that, you know, there's something wrong with your child and they're gonna have all these problems. They're not gonna speak. They're not gonna learn, you know. Um, but that's what the doctor says, but that's not what Jesus said. I was in the hospital with Ezra and I had just had him. Um, they didn't tell me, but they told my husband that, um, your wife might not make it. And I remember getting out of the bed because I felt, I did not feel good. I remember getting out of the bed and it was just me and Frank because it was in the time of COVID. And getting out of the bed and, and really, I've never cried out to God the way I cried out to him. And um, I really just getting on my knees and just crying out to him and just, you know, asking him to please heal me to please save you know save me because i have my kids i can't leave them you know what's what's frankie gonna do you know, that's one of my biggest worries i mean i worry about all my children but um my frankie i worry about him a little more because i think of who's gonna take care of him when i'm not here you know nobody knows him the way i know him Nobody can understand him, you know, the way I do. And so I remember crying out to God on my knees and just saying, just saying, God, please just, you know, save me. You know my heart. You know that I still have so much more to do. And I could feel him with me. I could feel him with me. I can feel him. I can feel him touch me and I can feel him heal me. And... I want to say the next morning, they came in and they began to check me again. They began to do all their assessments and they said, you're, you're, you're looking good. And by the night I was discharged. It was a miracle and I know it was God. I know it was God that healed me. You know, I know that God has a plan for my life for my children's lives, for my marriage, for every single person that's attached to me. He has a plan and a purpose. My son, he speaks, he has says full sentences, he's thriving in school now. 
you know, and he, he prays and he worships and he knows who Jesus is. Through my faith, um, I've found my purpose, my purpose in, you know, in life. And um, I feel fulfilled. I feel happy. I feel, I feel like I can do anything that God, you know, wants me to do. Um, and I feel that through my faith, my children will also have the same opportunity. I know that they're watching me. I know that I'm modeling, you know, to them what a relationship looks like. You know, a relationship with Jesus looks like. They see me in the morning when I get up and I pray. They see me when I read. You know, they see that we're faithful to church. And all of those things are transforming to them. It's it's go, it's getting into their hearts. And when they grow, I know that they're going to continue going to church. I know that they're going to continue you know, living for Jesus. To any mothers out there who may have a special needs child, who may be going through some of the things that I've been through, I just wanna encourage you that, you know, Jesus has so much for you. Jesus is what has kept me going. And I just wanna encourage you to just Give, your, give him a chance.